Hi, and welcome to another Sibelius 7 tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to export a MIDI file from Sibelius. If you'd like to skip to a specific point of interest in this video, then look at the timestamps listed below in the description. So we're going to be exporting a MIDI file and transferring it to a digital audio workstation. In my case, I'll be moving it over to GarageBand, but this will pretty much work in any uh, door that you're using. So probably the most compelling reason for doing this is that writing in standard notation allows you to be very particular and accurate with what you write. And a digital audio workstation offers sounds and mastering functions that are superior to that of Sibelius 7s. So with this method, we basically get the best of both worlds. And here I have something that I've been working on. Let's have a listen to it using the default Sibelius 7 sounds. So you get the general idea of what's going on here. You can hear the different instruments, but you wouldn't want to listen to this for enjoyment. Never mind submit this as a final version to a possible employer. And that's why we're going to first convert this file to MIDI, and then open up that MIDI file in GarageBand. So let's convert this file to a MIDI file. The first thing we need to do is go over to the File tab here, click on it, and we'll see that we have an export button here. We'll click on that. A list of options is available to us. We'll go down and click on MIDI. And then we've got some MIDI settings here which we don't need to change. We'll leave them as default. Click on export and we will be prompted to tell the computer where to save it. So I'll just save this to my desktop as funk example. So we save that. There we go, and we've converted it to MIDI. Right, now let's go over to GarageBand. As you can see, I've got a new project open here. And the easy way of doing this is to simply click on the MIDI file and drag it into the window. We'll click on Import Tempo because we wanted to keep the tempo settings. And there we have it. The MIDI file has been successfully moved over to GarageBand. So let's have a listen. Now that we've got our MIDI file in GarageBand, we can work a little bit of magic, add, take away some instruments, do a little bit of mastering and editing, and hopefully get a finished product that sounds good. And here it is, our finished product. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.